Hello again, I'm Jantastic, you're amazing, and this is React Holiday Day 10. Today we're talking about lists and how to render them. Well, first we need a list, so we're going to grab a collection by hitting our Use Pokemon hook and getting the uh, same endpoint that we use for Pokemon, but if you hit that bear slash, it just gives you a collection. And we can see that logged out right here. We have some metadata and then our results, just a list of 20 Pokemon. Now down here, I have a little bit of pre-baked code, which I'll uncomment out. It's everything that we've covered before with the conditional ternaries to render a fallback while we're waiting for a Pokemon. And then once we have one, rendering out that collection count, which you see here. Now, I wanna dive into that results array and render a list item for each one of them. Now, to do that, we're going to use the map function, and this is how we do lists in React. Uh, map allows us to take uh, an array, and for every element, call a function that will transform it before copying it to a new array. So we can take our Pokemon data, and then in return on this new array, we're going to return a list item that interpolates out Pokemon.name. Save that, and in two lines, we've been able to render a list. That's amazing. Now, if we refresh this real quick, we see that we get this new warning, and this unique key prop warning is just saying that React needs a little bit of help from us when rendering lists this way. Um, so we just need to provide a key prop, and it can be anything that's unique. Now, if you have an ID from your API, that's a this is a great place to use that. Uh, in our case, this Poke API doesn't. Um, but we know that the name is unique, so we'll just use that. Now you know how to render lists of things in React, and that's like 99% of a web developer's job. So congratulations, the whole internet is your oyster.